Morning. Told you I'd be back in the morning. Didn't I? It's um, it's stupid o'clock again. It's actually five o'clock in the morning at the minute. Um, my last dig was a bit of a failure. Well, I reckon it was a bit of a failure anyway. I hit a stone layer, and that was just the end of the tip again. So I've gone the opposite side this time, and um, I hit the stone again here. I'll show you in a second. But I thought, well, oh, God, that's it. That's the end of my tip. I might as well go home. But um, it's only about that thick and there's ash underneath it again now, so God knows what's going on. Now, I don't know, I might just have a little bit of a belt like that or something, yeah, but I've just put my probe rod in. My probe rod's a good five foot long and that's gone all the way to the ground. So, um, looks very, very promising. I might be able to get a decent hole out today. It should a decent bit of depth anyway, because that's what I like. You want the depth because... Most of my stuff comes out when I'm caving the sides in. So obviously you want big high sides to cave in, not fighty little bits like this. But uh, yeah, only a little hole at the minute. Like I say, I've just done a bit of a test hole just to see if there's anything there. But it looks like this, so um, it's time to clear all this out now and um, get round nine on its way, yeah. Right, a little bit of it all going now, as you can see. There's the horrible stone layer again, but there's ash underneath it. Like I say, only a small hole at the minute, because I'm a bit hesitant and opening out a massive one in case it just stops dead. So I'm afraid this one, I'll just open it up as I go down, but um, I've got my first bottle down there anyway, so let's, um, let's pull this in there. Oh my god, oh Umbury. Umbury Daybrook. Lovely and clear. I'd like to see one of the earlier ones. I mean, I've never actually seen one, but the earlier home brewery cods has like a muscle man on them instead. A man with like big muscles, and they are so much nicer. If they'd done a beer like that, they'd be an awesome pictorial, but I've never seen one yet. But, um, yeah, first bottle anyway. Something here. For a change, it's not a beer. No way, plain. Earlier. Got a bottle here. I want to start saying a bottle now instead of a beer because I'm fed up of saying it. A... Ooh, a new one. Well, a new one for this tip anyway. Quite a nice one too. Nice, nice. Um, S. Haslam, the Herbal Brewery, Sutton in Ashfield. Now I've got this one in my collection, but you never know whether they're going to be a better example than the one you've got. You know, sometimes they're just a bit cruder or nice swirls and stuff in the glass or wobbles and stuff and you never know. But uh, yeah, lovely, lovely beer. Let me just clean that a little bit. Yeah, nice and shiny again. Beautiful little dumpy and a local one too. Nice. I just pulled out that Haslam's and if I move my finger a little bit to the other side, I don't know if it's that. Another bottle. Ah, broken. That's a weird shape one now. The bottle here. Oh. Humbrewery, Daybrook. 
stop us on it. So it's actually got a home brewer stopper in it too, which is um, unusual. You started to get a little bit of a nice layer now. Well, the first layer anyway. I say this tip is in bands. It's weird. So it's um, it's like it's the first. I think that is just a Shipston's yet. Yeah. Don't like those. They're boring. Uh, this one. What's this one? Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. I've never seen um, a pint version in green before. Beautiful. Right, let me just clean that. Yes, I like that. Very nice. Beautiful. Local, well, localish anyway, on that collect. But yeah, I haven't got that one. And I'm happy with that. Good find. <laughs> Good find. Just having on two bottles full out here. What have we got here? Oh. Nice um, thingy jar again. I forgot to call them. Just a utility jar. And what's this one? A Hardy and Martin. Um, could have been Stavely Dumpy. And as you can see, this layer down here is loaded and I'm nowhere near the bottom yet. So, um, yeah, happy days. Getting quite deep now. Bit of a change from over there, isn't it? And it's still going down. I've budged up a little bit in this corner. I've managed to break through into my old hole. So I've got dug now spilling in on this side. So I'm um, going to have to be careful with that. But the good thing is I know I'm right at the edge of my last hole. So I suppose it's a good thing. But um, yeah, it's um, to keep going down now. But um, I know around here all the finds seem to be at the bottom. So um, yeah, let's keep at it. And um, I can't wait to get to the bottom layer because that's where all the, the goodies usually start to come out. So um, yeah, I just found a broken slab seal which um, it's up there somewhere. When I climb out the hole again, I'll, I'll climb out and, um, and show you. But yeah, it's the, the Green Dragon Hotel, Mansfield. It's broken like, so it isn't worth anything, but I've never ever seen one before, ever. So it would have been a beauty, probably an auction job if that was complete. But um, you never know, I might get another one, yeah. But um, yeah, let's keep digging anyway. Still going down now. I, I really didn't get this tip. I was starting to think this might be my last dig on here because I thought it had just run out where it's going the opposite again. So, um, where I was saying this would probably be my last dig on here, I, I reckon I've probably got another couple of weeks now. But um, it's just weird. But um, I've got two bottles down here anyway, so I put my camera on and I show, but I'm, I'm on the bottom here now and it's about, I don't know, about seven feet somewhere like eight feet so one of them's black glass it might just be a boring wine but it might be a pictorial or something yet. but um yeah let's have a look anyway let's turn the camera on now here's my two bottles let's have a look at this one first wait well, playing again i seem to be hitting a layer of um plain saucers a bit weird now, I don't know whether these are earlier versions of those um, coffee things I've been, then Bromleys have had a lot of it, or if these are later versions. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's that. Let's have a look at this great big beast here. Stops there, so. Bloody hell, that's a, a monster in the hole. How do you see that? But blimey, that is a monster. I can't even get it on screen. Look at that. It's a beast and a half, that one. That's more than a point, that's about 
Two pint, I think. I've never seen a beer that size. <sighs> Very unusual. Right, just a bit of a comparison to actually how big that beer is. There's my little um, S. Haslam's Southern National beer, which I didn't realise, but it's got a right wonky neck on it. Tell us, can you see it? So, like I said before, that will probably be a better example. As long as it cleans up mint, will be a better one that's in my collection at the minute because I just like that wonky neck on it. But anyway, there's your standard beer size. There's your, your big old pint version. And um, there is the, the monster, monster Kimberley's, which as you can see is massive. Look at that. Almost looks like the neck's broken there, but it's not. It's just a lump on it. But yes, that is a beast and a half. Um, I've got a beer here or something. I'm guessing it's a methane's back shape of that, but you never knew. Oh, it's nice, the cuds. Oh, what type is it? Ooh. What a cod! What a belting pictorial! Hang on a minute. Fantastic cods, absolute fantastic cods. Come on, that is an absolute beauty. Absolute belting seam down here, it's just loaded, but that's a bad sign when you're getting slightly melted bottles, but um, there's stuff in it. Oh, nice big jar. Nice. Right, we'll just get my, my fork and let's have a look what's in this lot. Sauce. There's certainly um, lots in it, but I'm going to have to move my camera because um, I don't want it to get squished. I think I've got a pit check right back there somewhere. I don't know how I spot these things, but um, <clears throat> where is it? I see one down here. There it is. You see it? <clears throat> so I can't reach. There. Yep, that's a pit check, all right. I'm right, gonna get my camera out of this hole because we've got I actually got my light on here so I can see it. Right. Yep, that's definitely a pit check. Yep, nice one. Right, again, a few bits and bobs now, but I've got to cave it all in yet. But um, I'm just going to try and show you just how deep I am now. It's getting ridiculous. I've got to try and climb back down here now. That is one seriously deep hole. You can see where my shovel's right down there. I've got to try and lower myself down now onto my shovels and then jump the rest of the way. But um, it's loaded down there. But I'm. Right, I made it down without um, wrecking my legs, but I bloody hurt my foot again. I forgot about that completely. I just jumped and then forgot I've got a healing foot still and that hurt. <laughs> but um, I'm down there anyway. And um, yeah, let's carry on. I'm, I'm quickly running out of time. So um, I'm going to start caving the sides in here, but trying to leave 
Is that side flat? And cave that side, and so that side drops. So then next time I can carry on cutting that way. But this is one seriously deep hole. Like I say, I've got my lights on down here now because I'm, I'm struggling to see stuff down at the bottom. But um, yeah, let's carry on anyway. I've got an old bottle down there. I mean, you can see it looks like another storage jar. Now, the lighting's all a bit weird because I'm having to work with my lights on just to reach things. And then um, I'm risking quite a bit too because this is one massive overhang now. And I'm very deep too, so if this comes down on me, it's going to hurt. Right. Another nice storage jar. Right, let's get out of this corner. Yep, yeah. nice jar. Like I say, it's a massive overhang over there now. And I don't want that to come down on me. Oh, I've got all the lumps of rust on my head. But, uh, yeah, quite a bit to go up there. Yeah. Bit scary actually because it's keep crumbling, but um I see a beer there, I'll pull that one out. What's that one? Just uh, a shipstons. There's stuff everywhere. Right, um I keep caving in. I've got a daddy's sauce here. I'm literally um, look at that. Still with a... So I didn't know they had that. That's got a cork. That's actually got like a metal stopper on the end of it. But, um, what is it? Daddy's... Daddy's favourite sauce. I haven't seen that one before. I don't think so anyway. But, um, proper enjoying this dig. I've just had this too. A bit of a cup. I'd love to find the rest of that. But um, it's all starting to crumble all the way around me now. So um, I'm having to be very careful. But I'm literally digging on my knees. But um, yeah, I'm so glad I got these um, jeans with knee pads in anyway. But um, yeah, let's carry on going and I'll, I'll try not to kill myself. I'm finding some lovely bits of pottery and stuff. Guess it's going to cave in on me as soon as I can hear it going. So, um, just had that, and I straight away, I'm thinking of chopping that there and turning it onto something. If I can chop it anyway, but like I say, I've got nothing to lose, but yeah, that's nice size, and I can do something with that. Another beer down here, but I've got to be quick because this lot's all going to come down to me in a minute. So let's just grab it quick. Right, what have we got? Kirby and Stavely car. Um, Kirby and Stavely beer. I don't know if you can see it, but um, all this bit here now is, if you look, it's soft. That's from the last hole. So um, the bit that's holding it both together is collapsed now. So I've got all that weight up there or pushing this way so this is where you got to be very careful because as it caves in it's going to slide forward too and it will try and pin me to the other side so um, I've got to be very very careful now because when it cave if it, I don't know if you understand what I mean but it's going to cave in but it's going to go like a landslide it's going to move forward towards me and that lot up there there's a lot of weight there and that will literally pin me to this side so um, when that goes I've got to jump so it only gets me along my legs because whatever I do I don't want it to get me along my waist so I can't breathe so yeah this is where you have to be very careful because as you can see that is going to go it's going Right, I'm going to turn this off because I need to concentrate on this anyway because I need to make sure I get out of this, okay? So, um, I'll see you soon. I'll leave that video in and um, you'll see it as it comes in on me.
Throw up a cave in if you're going to do it. Right, that's the stone where that's about to go, so this is going to slide in a minute. Just speeding up now. Yep, the stone where is giving out, so it's going to come down in a minute. Right, I've got a beard on here, so... Still going. Tell you what, I'm just going to pull it out and I'll show you. I think it's only Kurt being stable anyway, so let's get it out quick. That's not. It's a um, home brewery day book. Right, that'll be Course, like a clear chemist utility job or something like that. Well, my first um, broken Samson Brothers. If you, if you can see that, I didn't think there was any on here. You see, on this behind me now, I'm relatively safe now because I've I've built myself up. Well, I've dug myself out, should I say? So if it does come down a bit now, it's not going to hurt that much. But you still don't want to turn your back on it, really. side which I haven't dug through yet but my plan is to come back and keep going that way so um, 
It doesn't matter. Another source. Oops. The beer down here, I hope you heard that smack then. Pause for that. Nothing's Right. Still, still going. Right, so I'm about done on this for today anyway. Like I say, I'll be back oh, one night in a week. I'm going to leave that. That's just going to cave itself in that as, as it's still doing now. But uh, yeah, I've got a little tiny bit down here, but I can't see anything else going to come out of that. So, um, still going, you can hear it all the time. But, um, yeah, I'll be back probably one night in a week for a bit of a night dig. So, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you soon.